If you have conducted research using multiple data collection methods or multimodal research, chances are that you have multiple data files that you need to combine to make one master file that you can then import into a statistical analysis package like SPSS. This is the third of three videos explaining how to prepare a data file for later data analysis. The first focused on how to manually key in data into an Excel file, while the second dealt with working with data downloaded from an online survey tool, such as Google Forms or SurveyMonkey. This video focuses on how to combine two or more data files into one master file. You likely have two or more data files that are not exactly identical that you have to combine into one. Say perhaps you have one file that contains data manually keyed from an intercept survey questionnaire and one file that you've downloaded and adjusted from an online survey tool such as Google Forms or SurveyMonkey. For ease of discussion, we're assuming that your data is in Excel and you plan to copy the data into SPSS. To combine the two files, first make a backup copy of each file. The one you keyed in manually, and the one you downloaded and adjusted from the online survey. That way, if you mess up, you can start all over again from scratch. And then you'll compare the two files. You may need to have the questionnaire available to look at while you do this. See what you might have to do to match them up. You may need to add columns, delete them, or move them around. Once you have the files matching, you can just copy and paste the data into one master file. Now you can adjust your file. Since you have your data in Excel, that allows you to add variables by inserting columns. For example, you may decide to content analyze and code responses to open-ended questions. You'll probably have to create a variable so that you can key in the appropriate codes. And in Excel, it's easy to sort the cases so that all of the answers to a particular question are grouped together. Then you can resort them back to the original order by sorting on the case number. You might also take advantage of Excel to calculate other variables, such as a grand mean, which is the mean of the means. For example, if you had several scale rating questions and you wanted to know the mean across all of them, you could add a variable and calculate an average of the averages. When you think your data file is where you want to be, you then should be able to just copy and paste it directly into SPSS. I suggest, however, that you make sure that the data in both the Excel and SPSS files are always in the same order. That's another good reason to have a case number. That way, if you end up having to go back to the Excel file to correct an error or add a variable, you can easily recopy the data into the SPSS file and make adjustments where necessary. So let's do it and combine some data files. Now assume that we've already made a backup of the files. Also assume that we have a copy of the questionnaire available, and I can tell you the two samples that I have don't match completely. Now we have two files open. We have one file here, and we have a second file here. Your first step is to get them so that you can view them at the same time. We have two windows open, so we can go to Arrange All, and we would like to make them horizontal, because that will make it easier to compare. The next thing you look at is see that we have cases in this case, both of them beginning with one, two, three. So if we combine them, it will be hard to determine which one is from which data file. So let's just go ahead and say that we're going to change these to all of the 500 series. And we'll only change to here for now. The second thing you'll notice is there's this B category here or column here that is not up here. So B in this file starts with Q1A, which would be this one. So the first thing you're going to do, of course, we're going to adjust this file and insert the timestamp. And I like to call it that so that I know exactly what it is. I don't have to put any data in it now, but now when I copy and paste, it will go into the same position. Then we have Q1A, 1B, 1C, and we can match them straight up above. 1D, 1E, 2A, to B, to C, so we can go all the way over here, and boy, right here we have a difference. So here we have a 2E and a 2E other, but we do not have a 2E or a 2E other here. So in this case, we're going to want to insert two columns, and then I would again label them. So now, so far, they're matching up. Then we have a Q3, which is how often you eat in the car, but notice over here we have a Q3, which happens to be our open-ended. So again, in this case, we're going to insert, and you could call this Q3 open-ended. Now, we ended up not asking this question on the other survey, 
So what we would end up doing is adding a variable here, and it's going to be this one. So we'll copy and paste that over here. And just because I like to have them smaller, I can make it smaller. So, so far, if we were to copy everything in, it now matches up. Then we have Q4, which is here, and Q4 here. And then we have the Q5 series, which you can see them all over here. And all of those match up. So now at this point, everything should match up. You can either copy and paste all this data into this file, and then everything here should match up. Here's the Q3 that wasn't a Q3. Here's the Q4, etc. So let's assume that this, again, is the file that we're working on. There's a timestamp. We don't care about that anymore, but you can delete it if you want, or you can keep it in the file. So the next thing we wanted to do is we do have this open-ended, and we think maybe we might want to do some sort of content analysis, in which case you can add another column. So we're going to insert a column, and you can now call it Q3 other. Now you can go through and put the same thing in the other file if you want. So if you were going to end up coding these, into the various categories, you could do that. So the next thing I wanted to give you an idea on is how you can calculate what's called a grand mean. Remember that this series of questions happens to relate to whether people think that they are better than average or worse than average in a variety of areas. So if I wanted to create a grand mean, I could insert, if I had more data here, I could insert one and call this Q5 mean because we want it to be the mean of the means, in which case you can do an average or take whatever formula you want in Excel of all of these. So we have an average, and then you can copy it down. And just like in Excel, there's lots of things that you can do. If you wanted to make the average so that you have two decimal points there, you can do that. Processing time. Why is it important to have a backup of your data files? And how would you combine two or more data files? What steps might you take? What kind of adjustments might you have to make when combining a data file from a file that was manually entered with one that is from an online survey? Again, the next step is to copy and paste this master file directly into SPSS. And then you'll finally be able to start running the analysis so that you can see the results of all of your hard work.